HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Ch-ch-chumba. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What's up, what's up? Matthew Bivens here, and welcome to the Having It All podcast. I'm excited you're here to hang out with me on this Tuesday, or maybe it's not Tuesday for you. It is for me, though. And uh, yeah, I just love that you're coming on this podcast to partake in these conversations about creating and experiencing and living your own version of an abundant, loving life. That's what I'm playing for. That's what I'm exceedingly passionate about. And I love that so many of you are passionate about it as well. And I know because you tell me, because you email me, you Instagram message me, you know, we have conversations live face to face. And so it's a beautiful thing and it fuels me up. It really does. It gets me going. Today's conversation is going to be very cool because I'm sharing with you a tool that I use uh, and that I have used really to create an abundant and loving relationship with Sarah. Um, this tool is it's badass by itself, but what Sarah and I have done has really taken to the next level. And it's something that you can use Uh, If you're currently in a relationship um, or not, if you're not in a relationship, still want you to use this, you're going to get a lot out of it. So I'm excited to share that with you a little bit later on. But right now, we're going to get into some magic. Yes, talk about magic. I want to share a moment when I influence myself, others, or life in an empowering way. And my magic happened yesterday morning at about 7 a.m.-ish. And uh, I influenced myself to go out and run two miles. And I did that because that's what I committed to doing for myself for the Trust Challenge. Yes, the Trust Challenge is back. It kicked off yesterday, October 1st. And so uh, I I woke up early in the morning and Sarah came out with me. So my uh, me getting up actually uh, influenced and inspired her to get up as well. And we went to the battleground that's right near our house. We have a Civil War battleground that is um, our neighborhood backs up into it. It's beautiful. Just acres and acres of, of woods and hills. And I went for a run and it was amazing. It was exactly what I needed because I've been going through some emotional stuff recently uh, that has to do with my dog, my puppy Watson. He's not a pup. I, I call all dogs puppies. Uh, he just turned eight years old, actually yesterday. And uh, you know, he's been, something's been going on with him and it's been impacting me emotionally. I'm really feeling that attachment to him. Which, boy, that could be a whole other episode in and of itself. Attachments. Attachment versus connection. Yes, that'll be, that'll be something I talk about later on. But um, I was feeling it. So going out in the morning had this, this double, it was like a double benefit, dual benefit of uh, me making that deposit into my physical tank, which was awesome. I felt great. But then I also had some, some moments to just 
get clear, some moments of cleansing, just release all the stuff that, that's been going on, release all those emotions, um, and be out in nature because I really get connected and grounded when I'm out in nature. So that was awesome. And um, I, I got some other exercise in as well. Um, I've continued my reps from the previous trust challenge, my push-ups, my pull-ups, my squat holds. And so I got those in yesterday as well. Even, even though I had a really late meeting last night, I got home super late, but still cranked them out. So that's just magical right there, influencing myself to show up in that way and then watching how that influenced Sarah. And um, yeah, I'll be talking more about the trust challenge. Actually, let's do it now. We're going to go out of order. I was going to do some listener love, but um, this is a nice segue into me just sharing for those of you who either have not heard of the trust challenge before or who have not yet signed up. Um, I highly, highly encourage you go at least check out what it's all about. You can learn more at matthewbivens.com slash trust, T-R-U-S-T. And what myself and many, many others have uh, committed to is over the next five weeks, we are going to be making deposits into our personal trust accounts. And those deposits are going to be whatever you want. Uh, we have, we have um, categories for the five weeks. And the deposits are, are you know, they're, they're habits. They're things that you're doing for yourself. Um, you're loving on yourself. You're taking care of yourself. And that's awesome. But really, why, this, why I love the way the trust challenge is designed, it's genius. Because underneath the surface... You know, on the surface, you're making these deposits. You know, you're going for runs and you're, you're stretching more and you're journaling and you're meditating and, you know, you're connecting with loved ones. And that's amazing. Tons of magical moments come from that. But underneath the surface, what's really going on is that as you remain consistent and as you show up for yourself day in and day out, week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, what you're saying is, you're worth it, and that you can do it. You're building your sense of being able to count on yourself, to trust yourself, that you can keep your commitments no matter what. When circumstances hit you, when your emotions get in the way, when people's judgments creep in, doesn't matter. You will show up no matter what. And that's really what's happening. Because I know for myself, and I believe it for you, if you aren't experiencing what you want in in an area of your life, whether it's in your career, in your relationship, in your health, in your family, wherever. If you're not creating the experience that you want, it's because somewhere within you, you don't fully trust yourself. You don't trust that you're capable of it. You don't trust that you'll stick with it. And the trust challenge is designed for you to build that sense of trust, to grow that sense of trust. And that's why I freaking love it. So yes, it's cool for me to go out and run two miles. And I can be out in nature and I can exercise my body. I can get my blood pumping. I can clear my mind. Those are all amazing things. But those are all simply cherries on the top. Because what I'm really doing is I'm showing up for myself. Even when I don't want to get up and go outside, I'd rather just sleep in. I still show up for myself. And that's what you're doing. That's what so many others are doing. So if you have not yet signed up, you can still sign up. I'm leaving it open for now. You go to matthewbivens.com slash trust. There's a little button. Click that. Brings you to a form. And all you do is you tell me what you want to commit to for the next five weeks. Week number one, we're going to be making deposits into our physical trust account. Week number two, it's all about emotional deposits. Week number three, it's about mental deposits. Week four, social deposits. And week five, spiritual deposits. We're hitting our entire mind and body all up in this thing. That's what we're doing. So come join us, totally free, 100% free. Join us, bring a friend, it's awesome. Uh, There's some new things from the last time that the Trust Challenge uh, rolled out. Uh, Obviously, we're doing the five weeks and we're doing the five categories. There's also a Facebook community, which is cool. So I'm gonna be posting all my habits in there, posting all my deposits in there, uh, creating conversation around it. I wanna create a lot of engagement. I want folks to be um, supporting one another, encouraging one another, and then holding one another accountable. If you had trouble the first time around holding yourself accountable, it's probably because you didn't engage other people. I had Sarah right next to me doing her deposits, and I saw it on the calendar. She was checking them off. So I knew that, boy, if I don't show up, she's going to keep showing up. She's going to help hold me accountable. That's what the Facebook group is for. We're going to hold each other accountable. So get in there. 
I'm done talking about it for now. It'll probably come up later. Who knows? I'm really psyched about it if you can't tell. <laughs> MatthewBivens.com slash trust. Go check it out. Now it's time for listener love. And I want to send some love to an Instagram person <laughs> who reached out to me just to, to, to connect and tell me that she really dug the podcast and, and you know all the conversations that we're having. Um, and that's Kenya. So Kenya, thank you so much. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for asking your questions. Um, thank you for taking a minute out of your day to connect. I love it. Boy, I love it so much. It's, you all don't even know how much those connections mean. Those are deposits into my account, you know? It really is. And um, Kenya, you make, Kenya, you made a big one. So I really do appreciate you. And man, if you guys want to... Oh, wait, you know what? I, gotta, I, I made a note. I made a note to, to say this. I need to send so much love and appreciation to my amazing wife, Sarah, for my Instagram account. Because she came to me and was like, listen, we got we to gotta do something with this Instagram account, you know? And I wasn't really feeling like taking photos of stuff and writing those posts because she writes long, amazing posts. And I'm like, boy, that's just, that seems like it's mentally and emotionally draining to write all that. So she took over my page and she does about 99% of the posts. So all the things that you're seeing on there, most likely it's coming from Sarah. So I want to give Sarah some love. Um, if, it, if it has like a little dash and then Matthew, those are the ones that I do. So you see those sprinkled in throughout there. But Sarah's been rocking on the Instagram, which is awesome. She's keeping things uh, fresh and relevant so that when you do connect with me on Instagram, you can actually see some stuff that's going on behind the scenes in my life. And I love it. So my Instagram handle is Matthew underscore Bivens. Go there. Uh, what is it like or follow whatever the thing is and then message me we can get into some cool conversations hello fresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner america's number one meal kit hello fresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week and then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen and did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together, following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50HavingItAll and use code 50HavingItAll for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50HavingItAll and use code 50HavingItAll. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandsLots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. All right. Let's talk about this tool. Let You know, it's funny. I had the song, Let's Talk About Love. The Kendrick Lamar song, the uh, All the Stars, that's in my mind. So I'm like, let's talk about love. And uh, I want to talk about a love tool right now. It is the book, The Five Love Languages. If you've been listening to the show for any period of time, you've probably heard me talk about it. I am a huge fan of the book, Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Um, it is a, is a really cool... Uh, I've used the word tool a lot. Um, it's a, it's just a really cool piece of knowledge that when you dig into it and you really start to to digest the information, um, it's so simple, and that's why I love it. And it's this idea that we as people have different ways in which we like to be loved. You can call them languages. And what Gary Chapman has done is he's distilled them down into five. That there are five different love languages. And each of us wants to be loved, wants to be spoken to in our language. But oftentimes what happens in a relationship is I might speak one love language, my partner might speak another love language, 
I don't know my partner's love language. I'm assuming she speaks mine. So here I am speaking my language to her and the message is not being received. And now I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, I'm loving on you, but you're not receiving it. And she's getting frustrated because she's saying, you're not loving on me. And it just creates all sorts of breakdown. So the five love languages are words of affirmation, quality time, gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. So each of us enjoy those things in different orders and to different intensities. Some people are like really, really about words of affirmation and they dig gifts, but just kind of a little bit. Other folks are kind of even across the board. You know, I like all of them about the same. This one might be a little bit higher, but I really like the other ones. So the book is great and I totally recommend you go and get the book. And I read this book a number of years ago. Sarah read the book as well. And about four years ago, we were introduced to their quiz. They have a quiz on the the website, Five Love Languages website, where you answer like 20 or 30 questions, and it will tell you what your love languages are. And so that quiz was huge because, you know, the book gives you all this great information, um, and you can kind of self-assess where you're at by reading the book. Um, and it's also an interactive book in that, you know, there's questions for you to answer. There's spaces for you to write things in. Um, and it gives you all these great suggestions. I mean, it's a dope book. It really is. I'm flipping through it right now. I should probably go back and read it again. Um, yeah, there's not enough creases in the spine of this book. So we haven't read it enough times for it to start falling apart. But the book is great. And the quiz was really awesome. Took it to the next level because now I had a quote unquote scientific uh, Uh, a a result that told me, oh, wow, you know, your number one love language right now is is physical touch. Oh, boy, I was thinking it was words of affirmation. Huh, interesting. And again, it gives you a score for each of them. So that quiz takes five love languages to another level. However, Sarah and I notched it up. And that's really what I want to kind of share in this episode. It's how to take this awesome tool and really crank it up to 10. Because what we did, and this is cool, I, you know, we did this, Sarah and I, and it was so effective that I started suggesting it with clients and really urging clients to do it and holding them accountable to do it. And now what I'm, what I'm getting back in the feedback is how much it's freaking working. And I love that. So what Sarah and I did, we went online, we took the quiz, and we actually took it a couple of times over the years just to, you know, because you change. You might be all about words of service or words of affirmation, acts of service, and then you might switch and now you're about gifts and you're about this. So we retook it recently. And then once we had our results, we planned a date night. We planned a date night around digging into those results and sharing with one another very, very specific things that we can do to speak each one of our love languages. So it's it's one thing for me to know, and I actually want to pull out my notebook because I, I wrote everything down. So it's one thing for me to know that Sarah's top love language right now is physical touch and quality time. Both of those got a nine out of 10 for her. Cool. But you know what? I can look at this and based off of our date where we really dug in, now I know that Sarah loves to have her shoulders massaged and her feet massaged, that she loves to have her booty smacked, that she loves when I initiate lovemaking that she really enjoys when we're in the car or we're at dinner and I reach over and I put my hand on her leg or put my hand on the small of her back. She loves physical touch in that specific way. So we notched this whole thing up by getting very, very specific on how we each like to be loved according to our love languages. And that's what I recommend each and every one of you do, whether or not you're currently in in a relationship or not, it doesn't matter. And I'll unpack a little bit why it doesn't matter a little later on. But let me kind of back up and tell you more about this date. So, you know, we had done the love languages about two years ago. Boy, maybe it was longer. Two or three years ago, maybe four years ago. And we revisited our love languages recently. We were like, you know, let's, we talk about this stuff and we know we're all about it, but I don't really know if these resonate. We went back and looked at them from a few years ago and it didn't resonate. So we decided we're going to do this awesome date night. We'll have Maya be taken care of and we're going to do the quiz. So we each did the quiz. Then we went out to dinner and we had a really beautiful dinner and it was just a lot of great connecting and fun conversation. Then when we came home, we set up some board games on the floor 
Um, I think we put on like a Marvel movie in the background and turn the volume low. And while we're playing these games, we're talking about our love language results. She has them up on her phone. I have them up on my phone. And we're, we also have our notebooks next to us. And Sarah went first and just kind of went through, okay, for physical touch, what are some things that I can do? And then she listed, like I just said, massage, kisses, booty smacks, touching the car, initiating lovemaking. And I'm like, cool, cool. And I'm writing all this stuff down. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, quality time. What do you like? And she says, date nights, unplugged nights, or times when the phones are off, family fun. She loves dance parties. She wants to go to the park. Meals at the dinner table. You know, we bought a nice dining room table and she wants to sit down and actually use it without the TV off, or the TV on, excuse me. She wants to have engaged conversation. Talk about childhood stories. Talk about those inner feelings. Just conversations that have substance. That speaks her quality time love language. So we did that for both of us. And I wrote down all of Sarah's and then she wrote down all of mine. And then we took our phones and took pictures of the pages. So now I have these in my phone. And what's so amazing is that, first of all, creating a date night around something intimate and, and important like that, but not urgent, right? It's important, but it's not urgent and it's very intimate. Like creating that date night and doing that is a huge deposit. It's a huge win just by itself. But now, I mean, I, I, feel, I feel like I got cheat codes for the relationship. Like I know exactly what Sarah wants me to do across five different dimensions. I have like five or six examples for each. I mean, there's, you know, 25 to 30 things right now that I can go and love on Sarah and I know for a fact that it will be received powerfully because she told me and she has the same thing. So freaking cool. I mean, if you're in a relationship right now and that doesn't excite you to be able to speak your partner's love language and make deposits that they actually receive, then I mean, hey, I don't know what will. (laughs) And I think back to a relationship that I had in college where I, I think at the time I really appreciated gifts because I was always trying to gift her with little things. I would, I would try to, you know, whether it was food, whether it was um, tickets to go to Disney World, just small things, nothing huge. You know, I didn't have tons of money, but like I wanted to do little things like that. And sometimes those gifts weren't received or at least the reaction I got wasn't what I was expecting or wanting. And I would get frustrated by it. And it would make me question, well, what's wrong? Why aren't you receiving this? And now with this new understanding and this new paradigm of the love languages, I get it. I wouldn't speak in her love language. She may have been unplugged quality time. And here I am giving her gifts. She appreciates the gifts. You know, it's like, oh, cool. Thank you. Like, I appreciate that. But it wasn't registering as a powerful deposit. But if I had said, hey, let's, let's cut the phones off and let's go for a walk and you know, we just talked, oh my gosh, that could have been an amazing deposit. Or maybe I was affirming her. You know, Maybe I'm sending all these affirming texts and telling her how beautiful she is and how much I love her and all that stuff and doing what I maybe wanted for myself, but she's not receiving it because she wants physical touch. Right? So like, I can think back to relationships where... Me not knowing this stuff totally screwed me over (laughs) in that I was, I would, I would give and I would speak my love language to her and then wonder why it's not being received. How many of you are doing that right now? How many of you did that today, this morning? You wanted to love on your partner and they didn't receive it. And so you left heading off to work or going to the store or doing whatever you do, feeling a little frustrated. Like, man, I did all this. I came and brought you coffee. And you just kind of were like, oh, thank you. Here's a potential reason why. You are speaking different love languages. You're trying to love on her or trying to love on him in your love language. And that's not their top love language. So I believe that when we are in mature, powerful intimate, connected relationships, we want to understand these things about one another. We don't want there to be any games. Who the hell wants to play games? I got no damn time to play games in my relationship. I have no desire to do that. 
So instead of just guessing and then being frustrated when you're wrong, let's be proactive. Let's use something like the five love languages. Let's use the quiz to get an idea as to how your person that you're with wants to be loved on. And then take that a step further and ask them, give me some examples. I told you before, I feel like I got cheat codes. Seriously, I feel like I can just go in, type in these cheat codes, and now I got all this equipment, I got all these extra gadgets, I can level up so easily because I know exactly what I need to do. There's no guessing. And then if I go and start loving on Sarah and I'm pouring into her and she's not receiving it, I don't got to get frustrated anymore. I don't need to be like, what the hell, what's wrong with you? It's like, no, 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 Matthew, you're not speaking her love languages, man. You're not using the tools. She told you how she wanted to be loved. She told you that, you know, quality time was at the top. But here you are doing acts of service. You're folding the laundry, you know? And you're like, look, look, I folded the laundry. Shouldn't I get like some loving? Shouldn't we go have sex now? Like I folded the laundry for you. That's what we do. That's what I did. So I'm telling you, take advantage of this. The tool is freaking free. You go to what, I don't know. I'll type it in real quick. I'll find it out for you guys. All right, this is real time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause, type into Google to find the website for you. You're going to hear me clicking around. Almost got it. All right. Five, the number five, lovelanguages.com. You go there. Right on the homepage is a big button, learn your love language. You click it going to ask you for some information, your name, your email, all that stuff. Just do it. Don't worry about getting, you know, I don't want to give my email address out. Ah, whatever. Your relationship is worth giving your email address out. Get over it. Do the damn quiz and learn how to love on your spouse. And now, if you aren't in a relationship, because not everybody is, and that's awesome. That's totally cool. If you're not in a relationship, I still want you to learn your love languages. Why? because it gives you insight into yourself. This quiz gives you greater understanding into yourself, into how you like to be loved, into what connects with you, into what matters with you. I guarantee that some of these love languages are associated with some of your top values. I guarantee it. I guarantee it, because that's what resonates with you. This quiz, this tool is going to help you understand yourself at a greater level. And even if you aren't in a, 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 a sexually intimate relationship with somebody, if you don't have a boyfriend or you don't have you know, a girlfriend or a husband or wife or whatever, a partner or whatever, you still are in relationship with other people. You still have intimate relationships. You have intimate friendships. You have intimate work relationships. And guess what? Those people are trying to love on you according to your love language as well. So learning your love language is going to benefit yourself because you're going to get a greater sense of understanding of who you are and what matters to you and how to make deposits within your tank. But then you can also take that information and share it with the people that you're close with. It doesn't matter if you're not sleeping with them. We all love to, to, to give. And when we have tanks that are, that are overfill, overflowing, you know, we want to pour that love onto people. People want to love you. Help them out by knowing exactly how you want to be loved. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere. And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. I said before that um, I had some clients who, who I'd shared this stuff with and uh, it's been awesome. And so I'm not going to use their names. I'm going to, I'm going to rename them here. But uh, one of my clients, Liz, she, you know, took the, the love language and, um, 
she got with her husband and just went out to to dinner and they talked all about it. And what's been really amazing is now she's seeing all these ways that he's making those deposits, that he's loving on her according to her love language. And they feel so much more synced up. She feels so much more connected to him because now the things that he's doing, it's showing her that he cares and that he pays attention and that he's listening. It's such a huge thing when your partner shows you that they love you because they were paying attention to something, something small that you said. You glanced at something in a store and they went back the next day and picked it up for you and delivered it to you. Spoke your love language of gifts and gave you that, that thing that you had your eye on. That type of gesture, holy shit. I, it's happened to me and it's just like, it just kicks that energy up to 10. It kicks that love up to 10. Your heart swells. That's what she's experiencing because they took the time to be mature and proactive in their relationship to go and do this stuff. Instead of just going to dinner, going to a movie, coming home, calling it a night. No, they said, we want to work on our relationship because that's freaking sexy to work on your relationship. And so they took the time, they did the quiz, they made a beautiful date out of it. And now they're loving on each other more. And now guess what happens? That intimacy gets tighter, more deep. You know what I mean? You start connecting more. You start making love more. All those amazing things happen when you speak each other's love language. And Liz is experiencing that. Another client of mine, Andre, he took the quiz by himself. His wife didn't take it, but he took it. And so he has this understanding of himself now. And it's like, oh, wow. And so he shared the results with her. Now she's equipped. And the next step is for her to take it. And so that he now knows her love language. But because he took the quiz and now he's more aware that there are these different love languages, he's now tuning in to hers. He's picking it up. He's, he's, he's picking it up because he recognizes, oh, when I do this, she responds. But when I do that, she doesn't respond. So one of the things that he's tuned into is that one of her love languages is physical touch. And that she likes that to be expressed through massage. So he's been massaging her now. And she's receiving it. And some of the, the guards are coming down. The walls are coming down to really open up their conversation. Because now he's making deposits that really matter to her. And as your partner gets more and more deposits, guess what happens? Their trust in you builds up. Their vulnerability is allowed to open up. Their defenses come down. That's what happens. And when the defenses come down, now you can have conversations about things that you've been wanting to talk about, wanting to address, but you've been avoiding. Because in the past, you start talking about this thing and it kicks off all these damn fights and no, nothing goes anywhere. But now, since you've been tuning into them, to their energy, making deposits that they're receiving, the trust goes up, the walls come down. Now you have space. You've created the space to have a powerful and potentially confronting conversation without it going south. That's what Andre has been experiencing. And I love it. Man, I'm, I'm so excited for Liz and Andre because they're taking this stuff and they're, they're using it. They're applying it and they're seeing results in their own ways. And I love it. This shit works. You know, like Gary Chapman is not a freaking rocket scientist genius. He was just curious. Why is it that relationships break down when each person feels like they're doing a whole lot, but they're not getting the love from their, their partner? Why does that happen? You know, and the things that he uncovered in his work, I mean, it's simple stuff. And it makes so much sense. I like to be loved in certain ways. I'll share with you my top love languages. Right? And, and, and what was cool for me, the first time I took this quiz, something, one of them really stood out. Um, I think it was physical touch was like way above all the others for me. But now when I took it, I took it about three weeks ago. They're all about the same. Words of affirmation is my number one, followed by acts of service, my number two, followed by physical touch, my number three, followed by quality time, number four, and gifts, number five. Now, words of affirmation was a seven out of 10 for me. Acts of service, physical touch, and quality time were all a six out of 10 for me. Gifts was a five out of 10. So all five of my love languages are within three points of each other, five, six, or seven. And three of them are scored all the same. That's fascinating to me. And what's cool for Sarah is now she's like, oh, great, I have all these different love languages that I know you'll receive because they're, you know, they're all resonating with you right now. 
They all mean a lot to you right now. It's amazing. It's awesome. You know? And so some of the words of affirmation that I'm really enjoying is compliments on my body. You know, I've been putting in more reps in the gym and, and doing things. In the first trust challenge, what I committed to was was uh, push-ups and squats and, and pull-ups and uh, mindfulness. But, you know, I really wanted to, to put some love into my body for 30 days. And so I'm digging words of affirmation about my body. I'm also really open to receiving compliments on me as a dad, you know? So whenever Sarah talks about me with Maya or just, you know, how I'm patient with, with Maya and all this stuff, it, I really receive that. And then acts of service, man, I love it. I love it when, when Sarah does some things around the house that are typically my chores, but she goes ahead and knocks them out for me. It's super cool. I love when I come home from a meeting or from play camp or something and I smell delicious dinner. That is a huge deposit. Food. Oh my gosh. All right, this is for everybody. If, any, if anybody wants to get in, just like really touch my heart, send me food. <laughs> it's so easy. It doesn't have to be elaborate food. I actually don't like fancy food, right? I like just some basic stuff. But food is a huge love language for me. So Sarah knows that she can do that. Physical touch, I mean, I love lovemaking. I absolutely love it. That's why I get to activate and, and rep that beast mode and that abundance. You know, one of the things I wrote here, this is great. I've already cursed. This is already an explicit one. But uh, surprise blowjobs, that's in there for sure. Just spring that on me out of nowhere. I love it. In the morning, like if I'm still asleep and Sarah goes under the covers and does her thing, that to me is freaking incredible. It's incredible. And now she doesn't have to guess. I wonder if Matthew likes that. It's like, no, no, no. I wrote that shit down. It's right here. Do that and I'm going to receive it. So that's why I love this stuff. I love it. And, you know, it really is, to me, this, a sign of, of a powerful, intentional, mature, aligned relationship, whether it's with a partner or whether it's with yourself. When you're being proactive like that, because it's so easy to just be in our relationships, to just work in the relationship. If you're parents, if you're married, to just go about the business of being parents and the business of being married. Because there's so many things that happen that we can just have our heads down and be in the relationship. But when you're doing something like this, you're working on your relationship. And that's how it goes to the next level. When you're working on your relationship, you're saying to yourself, wow, we're at this level right now. Let's do a couple things and we're going to whoop, go to the next tier. If, if, if any of you are business folks, you talk about working in the business and working on the business. And expansion and scaling and growth and innovation happens when you're working on the business. Same thing with your relationships. This is a, such a simple way to work on your relationship. All right, I'm going to end this by addressing something that has come up with Sarah's Balanced Lifestyle Coaching clients because she too has been working with, with women, with moms who you know, are, are experiencing different things within their relationship and she has given them the five love languages to go and take to their partners, in this case their husbands, and they've received pushback from their husbands. So for any dudes out there, I'm talking to the, to the fellows right now, for any fellows out there who are just like, nah, I'm not really into this stuff. I, I'm, I'm not really, this is, this is for my wife. This is all the emotional things. I'm not really into that. I'm going to call your ass out right now because that is some bullshit. All of that, whenever you say something like that, like I'm not into it, that, that's a female thing. That's a feminine thing. That's not what men do. That right there tells me that you are freaking scared. You are scared. Something about being vulnerable is scaring the crap out of you. You're afraid of opening up. You're afraid of expressing yourself. And I get it because I've been there. I've totally been there. But I'll let you know that shit is not sexy at all. When you shut yourself down to that possibility, when your partner, your wife, your girlfriend presents to you something like, let's do a five love languages quiz and let's talk about this. And you're like, nah, that's not for me. That's just, for, why don't you do it? And then you just tell me the results. Guess what? You're doing a double disservice to yourself. First of all, shutting down your, your partner, shutting down you know, a goddess when she's wanting to work on your relationship to level it up, that right there is, is you know, 
That's taking your relationship down. That's a huge withdrawal. It's a major withdrawal from your partner's tank. That one act right there. But the reason why it's a double disservice is because what you're also telling them when you say no, when you shut that down, you're telling them that you lack the courage to go for it. You lack the courage to go in. You lack the courage to be vulnerable and to be open. And you're telling them that you're fine with playing small. You're fine with being presented with something that makes you feel uncomfortable and falling back, back into the shadows and cowering. That's what you're telling them that, that, you're, that you want to do. And you're, you, you, know, you mask it with all the stuff about it's a feminine thing. This is an emotional thing. This is a woman thing. The, the cover of the book is purple. You know? uh, I'm not into that, right? Like That's all the junk that you, the denial you put on top of that ego. That's what that is. I'm telling you. When you open yourself up to that level of just honesty, let's not even call it vulnerability, it's just freaking honesty. You're being honest about how you feel and how you want to be loved because I know you want to be loved. Of course you do. You're human and you're in a relationship. You obviously want to be loved. When you open yourself up to just have those conversations, I mean, it's like, I'll say it for like the third time, you're getting the freaking cheat codes to your partner. They're telling you exactly what they want. It cannot be easier, man. Come on, dummy. It can't be easier. You're almost guaranteed to receive a direct benefit from doing it. That looks like them pouring love back into you. Because when you fill their tank up, when you speak their love language, their tank gets filled up. As it gets filled up, they want to share. As it starts to overflow, it's got to go somewhere. They're going to pour that back into you. Guess what that looks like? It looks like surprise blowjobs. It looks like more lovemaking. It looks like them initiating. It looks like all sorts of different things. You benefit from this stuff. So stop being scared and stop masking that fear in whatever sort of, sort of chauvinistic junk that you might do. And again, I get it. I probably wasn't going to be open to this stuff years ago, but I'm so open to it now because I know that I'm planning for greatness in my life and that includes in my relationship. And I know that when I work on my relationship, that's how we level up. And I know that I want a badass woman next to me, an amazing partner with me so that we can go and create some awesome stuff. So if I'm going to go take a quiz that tells me how I can love on myself more and love on her more, because when I make those deposits into her, she can fully step into that queen space that I know that she is. She can feel loved up. She can feel as valued as I see her. And now she's open to doing some big things with me. Hell fucking yeah. Let's go. (sighs) I really enjoy when when the topic that I'm talking about gets me into this space. It's cool. I'm standing up right now like I'm, you know, I feel like I'm on a stage or something. This stuff is real and it's awesome and it's beautiful and it's confronting and I love it. So I really do encourage every single one one of you listening right now Go and check out the five love languages. You could probably get a copy on Amazon for like a buck used. You know, it's, it's fine. Go and check out the book. Go and take the quiz. Do it for yourself. If you are in a relationship, bring your partner along. Highly, highly encourage you bring your partner along. If you're experiencing resistance, just play them the last 10 minutes of this episode. <laughs> And let's just, let's just get to creating these abundant, loving lives that I know you're here for. I know you're about that. I know you want that. It happens when we do things like this. It happens when we, when we take initiative, when we become responsible for what we're creating. When you become responsible for the outcome of your relationship, that's when you can really grab that thing by the reins and then go. Lead it. Lead it where you want to go. All right. I love this. I'm about to go hold down the fort at a Tuesday night play camp. Get a lot of deposits from people who are showing up for themselves. I love it. So thank you for creating the space for me to deliver this message and to really get get myself energized to go and now pour some, some energy onto other people. 
And the way that you've been doing that is that you show up and you listen to the show. And I know that when I hit publish, so many people are going to listen to this. That is amazing for me. So thank you to you. I am grateful. I am super grateful. All right. I'm out this pizzle. My name is Matthew Bivens. Here's to you having it all. Quick note about the Having It All podcast. I am not a doctor nor a licensed therapist. I'm a guy with a story and a passion for conscious conversation. My thoughts, opinions, and beliefs are my own. So please consult with your doctor or healthcare provider regarding any questions or issues you have related to your personal, physical, or mental health. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.